All right, everyone. Is this you? Huh? I used to do these a while back. I had always planned on bringing these back. And somebody mentioned it the other day on Twitter. It got me thinking. If I have time, I'll bang one out. Well, I have time, and I'm going to bang one out. You're looking at an empress in a pre-shuffle. Um, these readings here are tricky. They're hard for me to do. I stopped them for a little while. The playlist is back on the main page of the Steve's Love Tarot channel. Uh, so there's a whole playlist of these, you know, go find them. But they're hard for me to do in a sense, not because they're difficult for me to read the energy. I could do that blindfolded. I don't care. Reading energy, hell, that's what I do. They're tricky because of the people watching, because this might not be you. It's the question, is this you? And you have to answer honestly. Well, you have to shut your brain down, almost a four of swords energy, where you shut the brain down. And you let the soul flow. You've got to be able to be honest with yourself. All right? And it is, a lot of people can't. So these readings back in the day got a lot of thumbs downs, which isn't, which isn't good for the channel per se. You know, it hurts in the searches a little bit. More, more you know, they don't tell you that, but it does kind of a thing as, as far as I've noticed. But I'm going to do them anyway because I think they help a lot of people. There's always going to be some assholes think, well, it's not for me. Thumbs down. Right? Please don't do that. Don't be an asshole. You know, you can be low vibration if you want, but don't be an asshole. You know, it's a, I know the two kind of go together hand in hand, but come on now. That said, is this you? It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. <laughs> Never more true than this reading. This might be for one fucking person watching. One. It could be. 10,000 views, maybe. One person. Possible. Or it could be for 5,000 of the 10,000. I don't know. That said, the general reading, it may or may not be for you, but if you're here, you're here for a reason. It could just be one thing I say, and this could also be future influence. This could be you in the future, or it could be you from the past, right? All right, anyway, and maybe I give an additional piece of advice that you didn't know. It's timeless, so whenever you find it, you're meant to find it, but you've got to be honest with yourself. Is this you? This is, uh, I, here's my pre-shuffle. I ask the universe, tell me about who you want to talk about. You know, it's basically what I say. And I just pull a random energy, like reaching into a hat and pulling out a number. I've got an Empress crossed by a Four of Pentacles with a Death card crossed by a Five of Cups with a Hanged Man bookending the Empress. I talk a lot lately this, uh, about the changing energies and things picking up speed and all of that. This right here, this is my profile of who I'm pulling on. And who I'm pulling on is somebody that doesn't like change. You're resistant to change. You like things to stay the same, right? You want to be the empress, sure, but not if it means you got to change a bunch of stuff. You want to hold on to some things. You're, you might be a pack rat. You might be uh, almost someone they could put on that hoarder's TV show. I know I'm, I'm exaggerating. I'm not saying you're a hoarder. But you probably, you know, again, I, I know I've got a friend. She keeps all kinds of shit, all kinds of, it's got so, she's got so much dust on the stuff on the shelves because she keeps every little knickknack. Well, this was a rock I found at this beach. And this was, you know, again, it's just in general, somebody that doesn't like change because maybe in the past when things have changed, it's gone wrong, possibly. That's usually psychologically what happens with people that don't like change. Sometimes people with divorced parents who grow up don't like change. It can, ref it, can, it can reflect as an abandonment issue, which are common if the, if the divorce isn't handled properly in children growing up that had parents that divorced, that kind of thing. At the end of the day, you don't like change, but things are changing, and you don't like that I keep talking about that. You don't like it at all, in fact. You might be one of those people that sent me one of those messages on Twitter. <laughs> it's fine. Either way, um, Things are changing and you're about to see, right? You're about to see that things are changing. Let's find out what the universe wants to tell you, all right? I, listen, I'm not big on change either. You know, I'm someone who had to learn this skill of mine now that I try to teach you guys about just flowing with the energy, be like water, take the shape of... This, this, it's taken me a lifetime to get in that. I don't like change. I'm not someone that does. I've driven the same car for the last 25 years. Now, however long it's been, I don't know, I bought it in April of 96, so you do the math, I don't feel like doing it. That's how long I've driven the same car. It's a good car, it's a cool car, people like it. I like it. It's like an old friend, it's like an old pair of sneakers. In fact, I picked my wife up for our first date 
in that car and she brought some lip gloss with her right and she put it in the console it's still there last time she got in the car she looked down and said that my lip gloss from 2002 or whatever yeah, yeah that's your lip gloss from late it was actually late 2001 but yeah that's your lip gloss there you go at the end of the day there you go so I don't like change either but it we don't control the energies that are around us it, it'll go a lot smoother if you allow change to happen change is happening right it's a big year it's a restoration year it's what I call it all right and sometimes to do that there's some growing pains there's some things we have to look at there's all kinds of shit there really is let's go let's shuffle the deck here ultimately people are going to do what they want with these readings it's fine you know I just like to call people out on their shit that's all about the intro and all that kind of stuff I do I think it's important I don't think enough people do it I think there's I, I think in this world there's a lot of people that are stupid and I think they're stupid because and they stay stupid because nobody told them nobody ever tells them <laughs> well you know it's fine I get told a lot of stuff too by the people around me it's fine and I take it in and I've, I, that's how I've grown in life. That's how I've made changes. And believe me, I am someone at, at, at his core who does not like change. Right? And even that car and I are going to part ways in the coming energy fairly soon. Right? Even that car and I are going to part ways, I'll tell you, one day. All right, let's see where we go. I've been shuffling. What do you want to talk about with the change, with the person who doesn't like change? <laughs> I see the bottom energy. I think this is a four card pull. Seven cups. God, we can't get rid of that card for any damn reading, can we? Knight of Wands. What's crossing the Knight of Wands? The Magician. And what's bookending the Seven Cups? Eight Wands. Forward movement. Listen, you could dilly dally all you want. You could stick your thumb up your ass and spin your wheels all you want. The energy is moving fast. This is my speedometer for the energy around us, the environmental energy. It is moving. Life comes at you fast, super fast between here and the middle of November. Super fast. And by here, I mean the second half of April through about the middle of November. It's whipping. And if you, if you imagine yourself in a car trying to read a sign that you're going by, right? It's a lot easier if, they, if you're going like 10 miles an hour or crawling in traffic at 2 or 3 miles an hour to read the sign. You can read it in graphic detail. You can get all the info out of it. It's a lot harder when you're doing 85, right? And you just happen to look up and there it is and poof, there it goes. That kind of thing. So just accept the fact that things are changing and allow for some extra time so you can get a feel for everything here. Now, that being said, that's the bookend energy. Right here is the magician crossed by the uh, Knight of Wands. It was really ironic about this is what's trying to change for you in particular is, well, your aversion to change. That's one of the things that you need to change. That's one of the things that's been holding you back. It's, I've been talking for a while now. There's some energy carried over from a past life for a lot of you. It, it, it's attached to you. A lot of people have this. A lot of, it can be this lifetime. It can be a past lifetime thing. It, it's hidden. It's like a mole you can't see, right? That's why you got to go get checked out every once in a while. You got to go get butt naked for some damn nurse. And they got to check every inch of you because you'll miss it. You won't see it, right? And then it'll get you. Well, it's one of those kind of energies. Uh, where it's it's very hidden it's hidden from view and again what's trying to change what's trying to transform is your aversion to change and once we re and once we remove that once you're not afraid of change anymore and you are afraid of it in a way it's a form of fear it came up in, as the four of pentacles in the pre-shuffle once you remove it things you actually flow with the energy nicely this night rides beautiful this knight of wands rides beautifully on this eight of wands energy it's nice it, it's it's a smooth ride all right so that's just the surface energy at the bottom of the deck crossing the whole fucking thing that's here is the queen of wands all right uh, the queen of wands fools herself quite a bit i talk about pretense with the queen of wands right she puts up a wall of pretense pretends feels one thing and puts out another kind of energy um this is an energy of fooling yourself all right you, you actually want the change somewhere deep down underneath it all. You actually want it. 
And what's happening is because you're still fooling yourself a little bit, it's, it's jamming you up. All you're going to end up in is an energy of confusion. And you're going to bring about a self-fulfilling prophecy of disappointment. If, if there's something for you to look at about yourself, about the way you are, look at it. All right? If there's something that's changing, let it change. The same energy applies when I say if someone wants to leave you, let them. Right? Just let them go. They'll regret it. That's their loss. Is the same energy of if something's changing in the environmental energies, you feel it, you feel like you're changing, your life's changing, everything seems to be going fast and all that kind of stuff, roll with it. Don't put up this kind of energy. All right? Don't, don't put up, everything's great. <laughs> Big smile on your face. <laughs> There's also an energy of attraction here. Because, but anyway, but aside from that, all this energy does is, is again, block it. You're blocking your own progress, and underneath that's the chariot. See? This energy puts a block on the chariot. Just go with it. It's good advice. It's advice that I guarantee you a thousand people watching this video don't want to hear. And they fucking hate me right now. Well, fuck you. That's easy for you to say, Steve. Okay. You're right. It is. But it's not like I haven't lived this stuff too. And I admitted to you that I'm afraid of change as well. I, I, I'm very averse to it. I drive the same car since 1996. Lived in the same house. Since 2010, the, or the end of 2009, you know, I mean, it is what it is, and and I don't even, I haven't liked it here since 2015, but still here, you know. So at the end, you know, and things are changing there. We are planning a move. It's been determined. We're going. Okay, it's on. All right. Well, it's been planned for a while, but you have to get off your ass to do it. I'm now. Under this energy, I myself am allowing energy to flow. I'm not cock blocking by myself. Well, I can pretend, well, we could stay. I mean, all our stuff is here. It's going to be a pain to move all the shit. It's going to be a pain to see what's in the closets and what's in where, you know. Yeah. All of that is just cock blocking energy that's trying to move. That's all it's doing. And so I'm not, I'm not doing that anymore. And I'm here to tell you not to do it too. Because I recognize your energy. I don't have a person to put to it. But boy, dude, I, when I did this shuffle, I recognized it nicely. So if you're the one person watching, even if it's just one person, every, every energy matters. We're all connected. We need to start realizing that. Right? We're all connected. Every, every single energy matters. So if it's just one person that I'm talking to right now, be cool. You don't have to fear the change. Don't fear the reaper. Right? <laughs> Blue oyster coal. You don't have to fear the change. You don't. Okay. I'm going to pull on the Seven of Cups. I just want to see what it wants to tell me. I'm going to clarify a couple of these cards. Why not? Right? It's a free video. If you don't like it, turn it off. It's all. It's that simple. There's another thing people need to get, get through the damn head. Right? It's cool. Not like you paid for it. I mean, you paid for your internet. Right? Okay. But, but fine. But, you know. This, this wasn't an add-on. Right. Why is the uh, Seven of Cups here? People crack me up. They do. They do the silliest things. They really do. But it's always been my job to wake people up. And there's a job of people above me to wake me up. <laughs> and there's plenty of them that have. Speaking of wakey-wakey, crossing the Seven Cups is the hermit. Wake up. It's a bit of that Four of Swords energy I was talking about, about letting the soul dry. This is my soul, right? He's, he's, he's right here on the edge of a cliff. He's not worried about it. He's right because he's just going with what he feels. He's just going with the energy. That Four of Swords energy is about shutting the brain down, right? And just, a, just, just going with what your intuition is saying, just going with the flow of the energy. That's very powerful. This tells me this in conjunction with the Empress that came out in, in the pre-shuffle at, at the top card. This in conjunction with that tells me that, that your soul is awake. Deep down, you want change, right? You're just kind of holding back a little bit. We, thinking about the what ifs. Oh, what if this? You know who doesn't think about what ifs? This guy, right here. Mm -hmm. End of day, and that's what's crossing it. That's the environmental energy. Environmental energy is screaming for you to listen to it. What's on top? Six of Pentacles. Wow, I like that. Just about going with the flow again. It's about, it, you know what it is, really? It's an energy of gratitude, all right? If you have that energy, you, you, you think it's just being thankful, right, or something like that. It's not. The energy of gratitude runs much deeper than that. 
It's, 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 a, it's a realization, and, and it's very indicative of the hermit. It's a, it's a realization that, that we're lucky to be here. It's, it's by pure happenstance that we happen to be alive right now on this planet at a moment where it can support life like us, which is only a window of time, by the way. All right? I mean, and the fact that the planet is even here, the right distance from the sun, and the sun hasn't grown. The sun, as it gets older, is going to get hotter and hotter and hotter. Right? Hotter and hotter and hotter before it, it finally grows into it, uses up, all, all, and it, it grows into a big red giant and sucks us up. But that's way off in the future. We don't have to worry about that. But, you know, again, it's, it's, pure, it's pure magic that we're here, right here, right now. It's a realization of that. That's gratitude energy. If you have that, it makes decisions a lot easier. Okay? It makes flowing with the energy a lot easier if you realize that, you know. Um, it also makes you appreciate your life a lot more, right? Because sometimes, and I notice this about myself, so I'm not picking on anybody. When I was younger, when I, when I was afraid of change, when I didn't want things to change, I just want things to stay the same. I like, I like, you know, I got my set pattern. I got a little OCD in me, so that, that, that hurts a little on that front. But when I was like that, I, I realized I wasn't really appreciating life on earth, which gives us that free will. That free will magic that, that we have, it's, it's an incredible superpower, free will. It really is. So again, that's all gratitude energy. The same frequency of energy plays out differently in different It can play out many ways, a thousand different ways. It's not just about being thankful or anything like that. What's the center card read with the hermit? Judgment. Look at this. There's a karmic cycle coming to an end here. That's read, that's read with the hermit. And don't they look very similar? Huh? How about that? Uh, there's a karmic cycle coming to an end here. Things are changing whether you want them to or not. So resistance to it is, I'm not even going to say resistance to it is futile. You're getting inside information here about a karmic cycle within you, something that's been attached to you that's going away. And yeah, it's going to change a lot of things. It's going to change your whole perspective on, on, on your life, on, on things. It might change your immediate environment and the 3D and all of that. But you know, again, getting that perspective, that's something to be grateful for. Right? That's something, it's not that resistance is futile, it's resistance is stupid. Right? And, and that's something nobody should want to be. You should never aspire. You can be stubborn, you can be all kinds of, you can be stubborn and just don't want change, but don't, don't be stupid about it. Don't be stupid about your own life. Understand at least how lucky you are to even be here. Right? And the fact that the universe, that the energy is changing, is changing for a positive, by the way, not a negative. So that's good too, right? What's red with the Six of Pentacles? So, what did I just say? What did I just say? Rewind. It's changing for a positive too, right? Not a negative. Yeah, the sun. It is. Honest to God, it's changing in the positive direction. That's the, that's the most positive card I can pull. All right? You'll see things, and you're going into new territory. It's a sunny day, a karmic, something, we'll, we'll call it karmic, something karmic, some kind of energy, either from earlier in this life or past life, is trying to go away. It's been found, right? Now it's being taken care of. And some of you here who are afraid of change, who like things to stay the same, I just like things to stay the same, uh, are, are fighting that. And the universe is trying to get you not to. I'm reminded of what... Uh, Jerry Seinfeld once said about Larry David, who was, you know, everybody knows who he is from Curb Your Enthusiasm and shit. He said about him, he said, everything in, ever, ever since Seinfeld, everything in his life has changed. He's become uber wealthy, he's become this and that, and he's remained exactly the same within it. And it's actually created a lot of friction because he should have at least evolved with it. Him staying the same is why his show, Curb the Enthusiasm, works. It's, it's, or Curb Your Enthusiasm works. It's why it's funny. Because here's this guy who didn't change. And there's friction energy there. He creates friction with everybody around him. Right? So, it's like that. Uh, doing good. Moving into a nice area. Just let it flow. What's going on here with eight wands? I'm not even going to worry about these. These are just talking about... What's been, what, what's been holding you back and the Knight of Wands? It's, it's, I already read all that to you. Okay? I want to know about the Eight Wands. I want to take a look at the road we're on here. All right? Let's see. And if this isn't you, fine. But if you're, if you're insistent with these Is This You readings or any reading where I talk about 
the energy around you and things that are being fixed or whatever. Any resistance that you have, if you have to say, it's not me, it is definite. If you're just listening to the reading and continually saying, this isn't me, but I'm going to listen. This isn't me, but I'm going to listen. Over and over and over again, it's fucking you. Okay? There's something in there. All right? And that, and that energy alone would be that. It's all right. If nothing else, it, it's a good lesson for everybody to just be cool because the energy is shifting big time. Uh, we're, we're in high gear now. We're cruising. Open road. Now let's pull on the road. Let's talk about the Eight of Wands. What's, what are we going to see on this journey here? Is everything going to be all right? I don't know. See what the witches have to say. I think everything's going to be just fine. The road is smooth. Six of Swords crossing that. We're going to calmer waters. I already said that. It's going to be, I pulled the happiest card in the deck. The most positive card. Yeah, I said it already. I said it before I pulled this. All right? It's, it, we're moving to calmer waters. It's cool. If you're afraid of change, you're being stupid right now because the change is for the greater good. For you, for it's just for everyone around you. I mean, it's, well, it might not be. You might have to leave somebody. I don't know. But it's for your greater good. That I can say. All right? It, and in my experience, it always is. Even me getting rid of that car eventually, someday soon. God. I can't believe, I, I wouldn't want to be somebody coming to buy it off me because it's got a lot of sentimental value and I know some asshole going to come down and try and nickel and dime me. Well, going to need to repaint here. It's going to need that. Can we knock 500 or 1,000? No, I'm going to punch him in the head. I really am. Are you serious? I, no, I'm just going to keep it then. That's what I'm going to say. That's why my wife says if you ever sell the car, I'm going to be the one selling it. Is she right? At the end of the day, even getting rid of that would be for the greater good. Because it's getting harder and harder and harder to get it through California emissions tests and things like that. Right? It was built in the Carter administration for fuck's sake. The emissions laws now, they want roses coming out of the tailpipe. It's almost impossible. And they're doing that on purpose. So that they get all those old cars off the road. It's what they're trying to do. So I, I get that. So eventually, you know, again, change is inevitable. And I'm okay with that. I'm fine. We had our time together. But at the end of the day, yeah, think we're moving into calmer waters, smoother. Yeah, it'd be a lot smoother for me if I didn't have to deal with that shit every two years. What's on top? It'd also be a lot smoother for me if I didn't have to deal with somebody coming up to me at a gas station every time I stopped a car or in a parking lot at a grocery store leaving a note. Is this for sale? Is this for sale? Good Lord. I always get people coming up to me at gas stations. I can't go to a gas station without some fool wanting to look at the gauges. Woo! They love them airplane gauges, I'll tell you. Uh, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. These are big changes, though. I can see why you might be apprehensive to it. The Wheel of Fortune don't come out for a change in a bar parking lot. <laughs> Usually I say a bang, but in this case I'll say a change in a bar parking lot. Uh, this is, these are big 180 degree sweeping changes. That's nice. I like that. What's the center card read with our Six of Swords? I ain't seeing anything bad here. New Horizons, Two Wands. Look at that. It's actually something that opens up your world to... I said it here. It, it, it releases this knight, which travels nicely on, on this Eight of Wands energy. He's holding uh, the world. He's holding like a globe in his hand here. It, it, it is. It's something very different. This is very different energy, but I've got nothing negative. I don't. I've got all smooth and the sun releasing an old karma here. And you're just resistant to it because you don't like change. And, and you might say, no, no, Steve, I've been listening to you. I've been flowing with the thing. It can just be a little bit of resistance. Just go ahead and take your... I love car analogies because everybody knows what a car is, right? Go ahead and take your car and drive down the freeway and just put the emergency brake on just a little bit. Not a lot. You don't have to all the way up or however you access your brake. Usually it's a handle you pull or something. You don't have to pull it all the way up, but just put it on just a little. Just a, like two clicks. It's, it may just be, it's just a little bit of resistance, Steve. Yeah, you're going to blow, you're going to burn your brakes out. Your brakes are going to heat up after about five miles that it's going to be it's going to work out to be a lot of you're going to damage your brake system you're going to you're, it's going to need to be replaced it's still resistance and and you're going to get terrible gas mileage even though it's just a little so even if it's just a little in the back of your mind you're like ah oh, i don't like change 
I'm resistant to this, but I'm going with it. That's not the attitude I want you to have. That's not what the universe is trying to say here. It's a bit like love where I say it's a leap of faith. You're all in or you're all out. You're all in on the change. You have to be. Speaking as someone similar to you, okay, um, yeah, you have to be all in. You know, it's just like with that car, like I said, I have to be all in on getting rid of it. And I won't be, which is why my wife says, I'll be the one who talks to the people who come to look at it. You'll never sell the goddamn thing, right? You won't like the guy's shoes, and then that's it. Well, I ain't selling it to somebody with those shoes. You know, I'll, I'll, I, and she's right. I'll be an excuse machine, right? It won't take much to set me off. One little insult. Well, I'm going to need to... Wait, you, fuck you. As soon as you say, well, I'm going to need to, get the fuck out of here. I love that car, right? <laughs> it's like that, right? What's red with the Wheel of Fortune? So again... My analogy is good. You might be just a little bit resistant, but try driving down the road with just your e-brake on a little bit. You will do a lot bit of damage, okay? A little bit goes a long way here. What's red with the Wheel of Fortune? Motherfucker, I can't get a negative card here. What is your resistance? It is the Nine of Pentacles. Liberation. This energy that's trying to change, where we're going, way, where we're heading is not only just smoother waters, it's liberation. It may open up pentacles to you, coins. It might open up new job opportunities. It might whatever. All right. When this karma, I, I believe it. When whatever this energy is that's attached, and, it, and for most of you, it's the energy of your resistance to change. Okay. Whatever that energy is, and it's human nature. Everybody is on some level, right? We, we get attached to things, don't we? And the Buddhists teach us that the root of all suffering is attachment. Right? Of course it is. Yeah. But that's why I still drive that fucking car and still take it to fucking smog checks. I'm, I'm not interested in the attention I get from people who are like, Ooh, I haven't seen one of those in years. You know why? Because most of them are in junkyards. That's why you haven't seen one of them in years. Right? I don't, I don't keep it for the attention. I keep it for the sentimental value. You know, and, and it drives real nice. It's a lot of fun. It took me for a ride yesterday. Woo! We had some fun. But it is a pain in the ass. It is time to change. This energy here of change releases that emergency brake for you. This is very fast, all right? And it flows nicely on this freeway. It's a car that rides real nice down here, and it's new. It's nice, all right? Uh, this is liberation. It's, it's, a, it's an energy of freedom. It opens up doors for you that were previously shut. Okay, can I phrase it like that? That's your reading. That's all I got to say on this. If it's not for you, fine. But I think this is for a good number of you. 20% of you watching, I would say. And I, and I just want you to know, if it is for you, I can dig it. I, I've tried to, you know, give you some examples from my own life of, you know, so you, so you understand that I get this. But I have learned over the years. Okay, and where I, I have learned over the years, you just go with it. Whatever, when, everything in life, everything in our life has its time. It has its, it has its uh, snapshot. It has its moment in time. Everything in life has an expiration date. It really does. Even relationships. Sometimes it's not in this lifetime. Sometimes that expiration date is uh, in the next lifetime. Right? You see people that are married for like 50 years and, some, and they both die and pass away. Well, that, it, that relationship has an expiration date. It's, it's not going to go on eternally. And nothing does. It doesn't happen that way. Energy shifts, energy changes. So maybe in the next lifetime, maybe the one after that. Who knows? Either way, that's why you enjoy the moments as they happen, because they're always fleeting. All right? And when we try to hold on to things too long, it holds us back. And that's why I keep, keep getting liberation energy and Six of Swords energy, Cross and Eight of Wands. I would take this reading pretty seriously. All right? You're all in or you're all out. Or any other, you, you know. If you're going to drive down that freeway, shut the damn, take the damn emergency brake, make sure it's all the way off, you know. All right, that's your reading. I hope it was helpful. I truly do. All right, don't make me sorry. I, I brought back, is this you? All right, there's all kinds of stuff that will, that'll show up here. And I think they're useful. I think especially in this year of great change and fast energy and the year of restoration, as I named it back last year, which is proving to be 100% true as we keep going through it, uh, I think these readings might be helpful. I won't do them too often, but I will do them. All right? That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right. Good luck.